at about 12.48 this afternoon, the white pickup truck that you see behind me was eastbound on, in, on State Route 60. It just passed Jackrabbit Trail when witnesses say it moved from the fast lane to the slow lane and then went off the roadway here just to my right. This embankment is slightly downhill, about six feet. The F truck, F250 truck overturned multiple times. The female driver was unrestrained and she was partially ejected during the rollover sequence. And when the truck came to rest where it's at right now, it partially crushed her. The fire department has already responded to the scene and determined that she had uh, perished during the collision sequence. We're just waiting for the coroner's office right now uh, for them to take the body. At that point, we'll finish our investigation. The impact to the freeway is minimal. Traffic slowing to look at the CHP cars, but the truck is well off the roadway and not a factor. So this should be cleaned up pretty soon. When the fire department got here, they determined that she was deceased. Also, CHP officers are trained to look for obvious signs of death. Now, this, uh, this stretch of the 60, is that part of the, the recently talked about safety corridor? Absolutely. State Route 60 is part of the safety corridor. It's part one of the roads that we put additional enforcement on. We have additional officers to patrol and during our commute hours, which is normally in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, unfortunately, these collisions still happen. And again, we preach seatbelt safety. I can't confirm or deny if seatbelt would have saved her life, but seatbelts do save lives in other situations. So we're asking folks, wear your seatbelt, don't be distracted, and don't drink a drive.